Welcome to another video on Salesforce. In this video, I'm going to talk specifically about an awesome functionality in Salesforce called custom settings. It is life changing. As developers, as administrators, we deal with complex validation rules, we deal with permission sets. And in this video, I'm going to break down what custom settings are. And this is a live demo. So we are going to build a functionality in Salesforce and you will see how custom settings work in Salesforce. So let's get started. First things first, let's understand what are custom settings. Think of custom settings as a place to store your data. It's like a custom object and you will be creating custom fields and you manage records. But the whole idea of using custom settings is so that you can, you don't have to write complex validation rules. It's a configuration data that can be used over and over again in flows and in apex. There are two types of custom settings. The first type of custom setting is the list custom setting. This is accessible across the org. The second type of custom setting is the hierarchy custom settings. This will allow you to set values at the org profile or at a user level. In this video, we are going to focus on hierarchy custom settings to make validation rules and more dynamic. So here's a simple use case that we are going to look at today. The admins of an organization want the ability to bypass validation rules, but this bypass is applicable only for system administrators. Validation rules will still apply for all the users belonging to other profiles. In order to do that, we are going to execute five steps. First is we are going to create a new custom setting of type hierarchy. Second, we are going to create a new field of the type checkbox to understand whether the flag is set to true or false. Okay. Third is we are going to manage a record, meaning we are going to configure it, the system administrator profile to ensure that the bypass flag is always set to true. Once these three things are done, the fourth thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a validation rule. And finally, we are going to test it. Don't worry, we are going to do a live demo so you can follow along as you watch this video. All right, so I have logged into my Salesforce instance. You already know what the use case is. And the step number one is to create a custom setting. In order to access custom setting, click on the setup cog, click setup is going to open a new tab. Once the new tab opens in the quick find type custom settings. Once the page loads, simply click on new. We're going to give it a new name. Let's call it validation control. Let's call it validation rule. Uh, maybe call it bypass validation. Okay. And we will give it a description. This setting is used to bypass validation rules for certain profiles. Okay. And I'm going to click on save. So that completes our step number one. Our step number two is to create a new field and it will be a simple checkbox or true or false statement. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to click checkbox next and I'm going to call it bypass VR and we can ignore the description for now. It is a good practice to enter description, but to keep the length of the video short, I'm going to skip description and I'm going to click on save. As you can see this custom settings, it looks like a custom object, right? We have, uh, we have this API name and we can create custom fields. Now we proceed to step number three. Remember the use case is to ensure that the validation rules are bypassed only and only for system administrators. Okay. So I'm going to go here and click on manage and I'm going to click on new. When I click on new, look at this, the new field that we just created, right? that is set to false. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select system administrator. Okay. And I'm going to say, I want this flag to be set to true. What does that mean? I want validation rules to be bypassed. If the profile is system administrator for everybody else, it's automatically going to be false. So now we have set it as true. Now we'll proceed to the fourth step. The fourth step is to create a new validation rule. 
in order to create validation rule i am on the opportunities page so i'm going to click on the setup cog and i'm going to click on edit object once i click on edit object i am going to see validation rule so i'm going to click here i'm going to click on new and let's create a validation rule the, again the validation rule is to make sure that the type field is always populated by non system administrators okay so what we'll do is we'll say type field enforced okay now what we have to do is we will insert a field to get the custom settings you simply have to scroll down and i believe we called it what did we call validation control no what did we call it i think we call it bypass validation here you go okay so we want to use bypass validation and bypass vr i'm going to insert this and i'm going to say equal to equal to false so what this means is if the if the person who is creating this new opportunity updating this new opportunity if their validation flag is set to false now remember the system administrator's flag was set to true that was step number 3 and i am going to say is what is it is pick well i think that's the correct one let's see oh we just passed it is pick val okay i'm going to insert this and this i believe is type and we don't want it to be blank so i'm going to do this i'm going to say type field cannot be blank okay and i'm going to click on first let's check syntax make sure that the syntax looks okay okay that looks good so again just to revise what this means is first is the type field should not be empty and the second thing is that the bypass flag should be set to false okay remember the administrator's bypass flag was set to true now i'm going to click on save and that's it so now let's test it i'm i am i'm a system administrator so i am going to uh create a new opportunity new simple opportunity test testing custom settings close date let's give it some date let's that and now i'm not going to populate type information i'm only going to populate the stage information okay and i'm going to click on save and i'm not expecting any error because i'm logged in as a system administrator so i'm going to click on save okay so it works for system administrator now let's log in as a user who is not a system administrator so i'm going to go here and check profile see maybe there is someone from sales okay sales let's see who's from sales assigned users okay so we'll log in as kc and now it's fine i'm going to click on opportunities and now when i try to create an opportunity without a type i'm expecting i'm expecting an error okay so i'm going to say testing as kc let's give it some random date account can be uh let's create a new account it's fine kc account save okay so i've created a new account and let's populate the stage qualification and i'm going to click on save and there you go it says type field cannot be blank because in our custom settings only the system administrator had a bypass flag set to true and there you have it custom settings as we saw can make your org smarter 
it is very dynamic and the best thing is it is very easy to manage so whether you're building complex validation rules you're using flows you're using apex you're using automating permissions custom settings is your answer if you found this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel because it literally takes a couple of seconds also check out other videos i have a complete 10 day tutorial on crm analytics and many more videos on salesforce if you have any questions or if you want me to cover more use cases you know what to do just drop a comment below and i will be happy to help thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video